All right. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Friday, so that means it's Fantastic Fridays. Peter. Fantastic Fridays. But I wanted to show you this right here, this little piece of paper, is the back side of my birth certificate. I'm not going to show you the front for obvious reasons, but this is my State of Florida Office of Vital Statistics Certificate of Birth. This little piece of paper. And this right here, do I have any information on the back? I'll show it like this. This right here, that is my State of Florida driver's license. So, I was successful, went to the DMV today on my lunch at work, and got me a Florida driver's license. So now this little one's gotta go soon. Still an Illinois resident. But I was a Florida boy born here <laughs> in Plantation, Florida in 1991. And 25 years later, we're back. Almost 26. Almost 26. My birthday's in December. 12th. Go ahead and um, But I got my, my Florida license. That's awesome. And he's wearing a hoodie. And I'm wearing a hoodie. Okay, a few things. A lot changed. A lot changed in the past half hour. One, we're not at home anymore. We're at Hollywood Studios, of course, because it's Friday. Two, I have a shirt on now, not a sweatshirt because I didn't even leave the he house. I didn't even leave the apartment. Didn't even get close to the apartment before I was sweating. So I was like, this is not happening. Okay, we're stopping right here. What? And we're just gonna pan and show you the view. Oh, look at this beautiful view. Pan, 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 rock star. Also, not only does Hollywood Studios close at 8.30 today, it closed at 8.30 today, Fantasmic's at 8 o'clock, which means we at least have to go sit down at 7.30, which means we don't barely even have an hour and a half before that happens. And I'm all about, it looks like drinking, I'm all about uh, pecans, and there's a new maple, maple pecan latte at Starbucks. We're gonna go get it and give it a whirl. <laughs> That's what just happened there. All right, we've, fine, we've gotten fine. past that debacle. But I love, I don't think I, maybe I've never really gotten a frappuccino at the Starbucks is in Disney, but they put little Mickeys, you can try to tell, with three little things of cream. But this is the maple pecan frappuccino, or latte frappuccino. I got it as a frappuccino. It's supposed to be a latte. It tastes like Christmas. Wowza. That's more, right? More what? Scaffolding? Yeah. Than there had been? Yeah, but there was like scrim covering it before. So, everybody, we can put like Tim Jackson's video somewhere. Yeah. Because <laughs> I just watched this earlier today and he did, just did this yesterday. But, yeah, they took down this whole building. This whole portion. Look at that. There's signage for, I forgot what this area is called, but look at that. It's a painting. Advertisement for Sunset Boulevard. Did you see it? There's a suit in that window, and there's letters painted on that door. It's gonna open up so soon. And it's called Grand Avenue, so it reminded me. But look at this painting. I think they like painted on today. The scaffolding's still there. The first thing she notices is how this was. How this was yeah, put on. My career. <laughs> <laughs> For two years. I thought you could go into it. I didn't realize you couldn't. You're shrunk to their size. In Toy Story Land? Yeah, I guess it's similar to Toy Story Mania though. Yeah. yeah. I think it's super it's cool. No, that's actually the same. Yeah, they're both in there. So that's gonna be like the Disneyland ride that whips you around, but it's gonna be the little aliens on spaceships. That will most likely be a quick service of some sorts. Because they show tables. Yeah, there's all these tables right there. A giant Luxo ball. This is the entrance, new entrance right there to Toy Story Mania. And there's the rest of it is all of the track for Slinky Dog. It's gonna be huge. And for all you Star Wars fans, here's the beginning of a display for Galaxy's Edge. They said they're gonna 
keep on inter like changing it out. That's what I read online. Yeah. That would like be cool. This, we, we can't make out where this is going to be in the park, but this thing is, this thing alone is huge. And there's like a cool little, there's like a fireplace looking thing. I wonder if it'll be like a quick service or something in there. It also looks like that little track right there, my finger's pointing, might be like, means like this might be like a little market in there or something. I have no idea. If you do, let me know. Here's concept art for the new. Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's gonna take the place of Great Movie Ride. So I like to point out with the two and a half D, there's gonna be no glasses required. It's not like they're taking an old short and turning it into a ride. It's a brand new story. Also, it says there's gonna be a singable attraction theme song. So get ready to memorize it. <laughs> I'd like to introduce our lovely manager. Yeah, uh, she's usually oh, not like this. Yes, yeah, she's usually like worse. I've heard that. Well, guys, what do you expect me to do? Send them all with you? Yeah. yeah. You can get them yeah. some yeah. Right? Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I love that idea. Yeah. What? Now that's some backstage yeah. passes. No way. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, I'll make it happen. Five salads, me. Listen, I'm going to need a bigger car. Make it a stretch. In fact, make it a super stretch. I don't think I've ever seen this G-Force record sign before. We're in the single rider line. And Phantasmic starts in 35 minutes. And we are gonna go down all that way. It'll be what do you call it, a photo finish? Good thing we have a really fast ride. We're nervous about time. It is 7.42, 7.42. My jazz starts at 8 o'clock. That is good thing. Rock and Roll Coasters, the shortest ride on property. And right there it is. It's hard because of the single rider line, like, there's no consistency there. You can go through two whole loops now, they're not being a single, single rider going. Or you can go through one and it's a bunch. Fingers crossed for us. Are we going to make it? Yeah. <laughs> Bye -bye. Have a nice trip. Thanks. <laughs> we, we just got out and literally we're like fast walking to the Fantasmic and right as we're doing that, the announcement comes over, it's standing room only. But we've never done standing room on this, so and we'll show you we'll show you what standing room looks like. I did done rock and roller coaster and like two weeks. Oh, it darn. Was worth it. What? You haven't done it in two whole weeks. No. We live a very magical life. So let's see. I've never I've never even seen standing room. I don't even know where you stand. So let's go find this out. So we're not gonna stand. We're gonna sit. But we decided that we're gonna sit back here with this back support by these fine cast members over here. This is a cool view. The absolute back row. The absolute back row. I feel like maybe if it doesn't get too much busier that we'll have like our own little viewing section. Yeah. I, I always start, my feet. hold on. I always begin to sweat so profusely in this little bowl. Yeah. And I Are never you? know why. I, I can feel it just starting now. That spotlight is coming from right here.
things about sitting all the way at the top is that you get a great view, like overall view, and it's a quick exit. We were like the first, within the first like 100 people to leave, which was like right away. Look at this, where this is, that's the very front of, of the crowd. Sorry, that's I'm pretty great. my Instagram post. Oh, she's busy being that social media, you know. These are the Star Wars fireworks. If they just would have started these at like 8.35 or how about 8.45 instead of 8.30, it would have given people a chance who were going to Fantasmic a chance to get over there before it started. But I get it, crowd control and everything, but we have yet to like camp out a good spot and watch it. I think we should do that one of these days. Not a Friday. Not a Friday, because those are for Fantasmic. But maybe a Thursday? Yeah. Or a Star Wars Saturday? I don't know, think of some. Up. Have a good night. Woo! Nothing like a little Disney magic. Who, nobody told them to do that. They just wanted to do that. In the comments, rate the Star Wars fireworks from one to ten. Hello. Did you rest? Did you rest, honey? Oh, you're so good. You're so good. What's he doing? What's he doing? Eve, what is this? What's going on? Okay. We know it's Friday and it's party time. <laughs> For some. For some. But we're small business owners. And we gotta do our duty to our school. Leave a comment down below if you know where that quote's from, because <laughs> it's one of my favorites. So, time to get to work. I'm going to the post office in the morning to send off those packs because we were supposed to get the buttons out, out today, today, but we didn't get the buttons until today. So, yeah. but they're all set. I'm getting up. We at, were all organized, so it took like two hours to get. Together. Getting up at like quarter to six to hopefully be at the post I didn't office. I know that. <laughs> to be at the post office by like six six fifteen, so they'll be out bright and early. And uh, I think we had a couple extra packs. Yeah. So we were thinking since this is the snack pack month. That if you to we're gonna give a pack away, and yes. how we're gonna do this is gonna be a quick giveaway. So you have to like this video and leave a comment down below of what is your favorite snack, any snack or Disney snack. Disney snack. Your favorite Disney snack. Leave it in the comment below. Subscribe and like the video, and then at the end of tomorrow's video, tomorrow's vlog, we will let everybody know who won and who's yeah. getting the pack. And I'll just be like a random thing, or we yeah. Random. So you so have throw it together. Right, Why you not? Have we have a couple extra. Right, and you have to do all the th those three things, and we'll randomly select it. Yeah, and kudos to you to sticking around to the end of the video. Yeah, and with that, it's good, it's to, good be to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>